responsible decision. Yeah, how you my plants and now I think I'm gonna study because I should be studying it's now 5:39, and um, yeah so let's go ready for dinner. I'm very hungry and I think I'm gonna make some chili ramen style noodles. Oops, pour water in. And then wait till it heats up. Perfect! And I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. So maybe an egg or two eggs because I'm pretty hungry and yeah let's see what I have um, so let's say two eggs salad grab coffee and something to eat. Yeah, 
Lou and I are gonna go for a walk. We're gonna go for a longer round. That's kind of like my schedule. I do a short walk in the morning, then at lunchtime a longer one, like the longest of the day. Before dinner, quickly, and then before bed as well, um, a short walk. That kind of works the best for me. Of course, I do have some days on Tuesday, for example, I always go to dog school, our class at 9 o'clock in the morning, so I usually get up a little earlier so we can get like a short walk in and then go there by 9. Um, so yeah, let's go! It's always a lot of fun and yeah, I think I'm gonna just place you guys right here. So this is a place where you can actually have a barbecue but I've never seen anyone here so yeah, you can smell everything. like I need to rename this vlogs in like a day in the life of a student with a dog I don't know because it kind of suits the whole content better I feel like because I always film myself either going to walk while walking or after a walk so I kind of schedule my whole day around Balu it is what it is if you have a dog you know what I'm talking about if he's happy I'm happy it really gives me a lot of positivity, exercise and a lot of like nature me time and I'm a person who 
really needs that I can charge up in the forest, for example, and in, in general, like with animals and nature. So happy to have him and to kind of even out my busy student life. And I'm not suggesting that you, you're a student, to get a dog yourself. But if you do, you know, it's, it's great. But with that being said, it's also a lot of responsibility and it takes up a lot of my day and my time. So you actually have to be willing to dedicate so much of your time to your dog and you have to go to dog school. I feel like nowadays, especially with the virus, a lot of people get dogs because they're in home office and they just have a lot of free time and um, just be aware that the virus will be over hopefully one day and I feel like if your life before the virus hit wasn't suitable for a dog it's not going to be after the virus is gone unless you actually have different circumstances so if you can have home office after the virus or you actually planned it through or thought about the virus being over at some point I congratulate you to your choice of having a dog it's the best thing ever but just so that I don't paint a false picture of what it is um, owning a dog because it's not just oh we're gonna go walking cool like fun stuff it's also a lot of work and it takes time but Louis one and a half years old he's still not fully trained he has some days where puberty hits <laughs> I have days where I don't feel like going outside or doing anything but his needs are my responsibility so I have to go outside and get these things done of course we have days where we will only go outside for potty and you know I give him his food maybe a bone or something and he's happy I'm happy we'll chill the whole day but the next day we're gonna have to do something more than that you know I feel like a lot of people forget that and even though I made a lot of researches before getting him I still was struggling with the amount of responsibility that I got straight away so maybe I'm gonna make a separate video about the whole journey of getting him and getting to the point where we are right now just keep that in mind and I feel like I don't even have to say this because it's common sense but I have seen so many videos and I've met so many people now with puppies either struggling or not really thinking about the reality after the virus and also wanting a dog so badly that they will actually support illegal criminal organizations that will bring in dogs that are sick way too young or just almost dead just because we as human beings have this new need of getting a pet but I can totally understand if you actually want a dog and you wanted it for so long or you just thought it through till the end absolutely get you and I'm so happy for you that you will take the time to make a responsible decision and um, yeah Welcome to the club of dog owners or future dog owners. So, I did enough talking. I'm ready to go home, drink another coffee, do some studying work. So